Hey, what's up guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany. How are you? We do anything fabric related on this channel and today is no different. This is the start of the vlog. Just at the top, I wanted to tell you guys about the YOLO series cow that I'm doing on the streams on Thursdays. 1pm PST if you guys didn't know. It's just where we all knit along in the same pattern and I, I just want to you know, make it easier for people to get patterns and use up their scraps because I know I have a billion scraps, you guys probably have a billion scraps, and I, I just thought it would be fun to do a series where we kind of just use it all up and I can write like cute little small patterns for them. If you want to join the cow and get the pattern, you just have to join the Patreon. Just join it for free. There'll be a post with a link to the Google Doc. Um, the Google Docs are very um, messy and it's, and it's very like chaotic, but I think that's what the YOLO name lives up to. And so yeah, it'll be up for the Patreons until I finish the cow and then the PDF will be given to all the Patreons and then I will put the PDF onto the shop. Those will be paid just while you're doing it in the cow. That's when you can get it for free. This current YOLO series, we're doing a hair accessory bundle. I think I'm gonna call it the stripe bundle and then we're gonna do another bundle later because I have so many ideas. Like it's actually concerning how many ideas I have, but this is gonna be the stripe one. The first one we're doing is a really big scrunchie and then I wanna do a kind of smaller hair band. And then I'm thinking like a long tube that you can either like wrap in your hair kind of like this. And then maybe also like if you want to knit like a bow, you can do it like this. Yeah. And then I want a third size that we where we could have like a little skinny striped scarf. If you guys know Matilda Durf, she has, she's worn this headband and I'm just going to include it. We're just going to have it in there as well. And we're going to knit it up and I am going to have like the funnest time with this because I've been knitting up the scrunchie so far and I can't stop. And we've only done one cow, like we've only done one cow session and I'm already like two ahead, but I'm like so excited. Um, I know I said I was going to do ruffles and like lace and stuff, but I think we're going to do it in the what we're gonna do in the next bundle. Let me just live out my striped dream and just put it into one bundle pattern and so we can separate it nicely. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? This is what it looks like so far. Oh my gosh. I am obsessed with the color. I don't know. I didn't know we could pop off like this and like the cobalt. I just feel like the couples that I'm doing together we're changing. So we're keeping, I kept uh, these four colors the same and then we change the two every um, kind of set so we're gonna make this into a little scrunch like this and then you fold it and I can have like the cutest little scrunchie ever I'm actually almost done so I also really like how it curls in like this if you can see so that's what the scarf is gonna look like and like look at that mini scarf who and then like if we have like a little headband I think would also look good. Not this thick. This is a little thick, but I'm gonna, we're gonna come up with something real fun. This also feels a little thick. Okay, we're gonna have to go a little thinner than this, but I think you get the vibe. I'm really excited because I feel like this looks really nice. So yeah, just thought I might announce it. I probably should announce it on my Instagram because I want more people to um, join the knit along and kind of use up some scraps. In the future, I'm thinking we could do like a bandana, we could do like a tube top, we could do, people were saying that we should do a bag and that's initially what I wanted to do, but it was a little ambitious. Okay, I, 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 it's hard to write a good pattern in such a short amount of time, so I just wanna make sure that I'm doing it right. Update on the scrunchies, because for some reason, the scrunchies are like the only thing I can think about. I can't actually like start knitting something else. I'm like obsessed. I can't like stop. We finished. <laughs> we finished the scrunchie. This is how it looks like. Sorry, I didn't weave in the ends right there, but this is how it came out. I'm loving it. I really like it as a hairband for like you can style it so many ways numero uno is just to do it like a ponytail which i think is the cutest i don't i think i have to like frame this i have to like adjust it nicer i'm loving can you see can you even see that i can't see every time i turn around i can't see and then another way is i'll put my hair in a bun and then wrap it around twice and I feel like it looks even cooler. Like it makes my buns look 
crazy pretty like because I have so much hair so when I do like put a bun it like really protrudes out so I'm gonna put this guy on it hides the protrudiness you can do it like just like this I don't think it stays on very well actually I guess I, I would pin it if I was do if I was doing it just like the one we would pin but I like to fold it around and do it a two time you got this like cute little I'm gonna have to model this a little bit better <laughs> I'm like really excited and I'm really excited to wear this one like literally all the time I ended up using just like these elasticy bands and I just tied it in like a triple knot and slid it right through it was really easy and you get to like control the length and that's why I think it fit me well like I think if I used a normal just elastic band like this it would not have sit well so there's that I've already started on the second scrunchie which is just a miniature size I am really loving just like stripes just like mini stripes instead of multicolor I'm thinking just like two colors and this one's going to be like a lot smaller and I think it'd be really nice for just ponytails. I find that my ponytails look a little, little gross when I wear them. So just adding like a bunch of them. I want to make a brown and cream and then I want to make like a navy and like a darker cream. It's so hard. There's too many things to knit and not enough time. Okay, so love this. I'm feeling cute already. So today we're just feeling a little overwhelmed and that is an okay emotion. We're allowed to feel that and it will pass. We, we just feel maybe a little bit more stressed out than usual. There's just like things that I've been putting on my plate, which we love. We love the you stress, I would call it. It's not like stress that I'm trying to avoid. It's more like stress that I want to do these things. We just don't have enough time in the day and I don't think it'd be smart of me to you know try to run through everything and burn out i'm gonna take it a little easy we're gonna clean because it's room i think because i was doing the scrappy scrunchie that i just started moving yarn around and that's not good i also bought more yarn so that's extra not good but i'll show it to you guys because i'm planning to put them on the shop and they're so cute so we'll do that and then i'll have like a huge montage of me cleaning and so if you guys need um someone to clean with <laughs> or some motivation to just clean to de-stress because it's like, you, you kind of feel productive, but at the same time, it's like therapeutic. I'm trying to like reframe my brain to think cleaning is self-care. So that's what I'm doing for myself. We're doing a self-care day. The self-care day is I'm gonna listen to lo-fi jazz music and we're gonna clean and I'm gonna feel good about this room. So I picked up this Noro. It's a new Noro. Okay guys, this is like a new Noro that's come out. It's Compito, Compito, 35% silk, 35% cotton, 30% polyamide. It's 150 grams, 40, 450 meters. I don't know, it just kind of, it was giving Omitama, but like as a summer like yarn. So I'm really into it. I think it'd be a beautiful top. This is like the little swatch that I made. Sorry, I didn't have enough time to knit a huge swatch. You can't see anything, but I don't know. Don't have any plans for it. I think we've knit a lot this week. So I'm just trying to, again, slow it down. Up some more Noro is the Silk Garden Sock Solo. I just find that their colorways are the best and it's just something I just naturally gravitate towards. So we just got two colors. This one is S2. It's like a really nice gray, has really nice speckles to it. Just if you want something a little bit different, again, we love gray, so wanted it in the collection. And then this was a new colorway, it's T16. I felt like it was giving a funkier version of Omitama, so I wanted to pick it up just because Omitama is so hard to get. So I just thought this would be a good little extra thing and maybe I'll make socks with these ones. I don't know. I just want to make everything with this Silk Garden Sock Solo. So I've seen this brand quite a bit in a lot of local yarn stores that I see and they were having a sale for my supplier. So I just had to pick them up. They're all like a bunch of summery, beautiful yarns that I can use and I feel like they would be perfect staples in my wardrobe and just we're wanting more staples in the wardrobes. So this is Queensland. 
collection. Let me know if you guys have ever used this yarn before. This is Dungarees Fine. It comes with 100 grams, which I really liked. So you get like a bang for your buck and it's just this really nice cotton. It's 95% cotton, 5% other fibers. Um, but it's in this like really nice cream. I just wanna see how it knits up, see if it's something I like on my body kind of thing. Also got the Dungarees Spun from Recycled Jean, Queensland, another one. Don't know, it's a hank. I think this one is, this one is 200 meters in 100 grams. This one is 310. So this is, this is like a DK. This is like a sport weight. Um, they are giving off same color. It's Queensland, again, dungaree tweed. I don't know, we're into the dungarees, I guess, because I'm again just really into this cotton so it's this really interesting like white marled plus like a brownie texture so I don't know feeling like I can experiment with something with this and it's really pretty and I think it'd be nice again maybe a new brand we can put in the shop I don't know if you have any bases you want to see from Queensland let me know pick up this one cuz it was, we were getting a little bougie, but this is Jody Long Summer Delight. It is 90% organic cotton and 10% cashmere. So that's why I picked it up. It's giving me Beastie Garn Summer and Cashmere. So I just thought to pick it up. It's so, it's very nice. It's a very nice, like just a little bit bougier um, cotton. I need to put them away and make my, make this room feel less cluttered that's not okay and that is not okay and that is not okay i also because i was so excited about the raffia bag that i made i picked up more raffia i'm really into this so i really wanted to try this dark brown color i just thought it was the most prettiest thing and maybe in like a herringbone like bag would be really cute i wanted this one because i want to make a not anytime soon okay we're not doing these anytime soon when we have the energy We'll do it, but right now we're not. Uh, this, I just wanna add on to the hat that I'm doing. And I wanna add like holes because I've seen this hat that has a ribbon that kind of goes over and then into the holes and then you can wrap it around. We'll see, we'll really see, but the brim's quite long. We'll see if we have enough. This is a wholesale. So if you want me to add this to the shop, I can. And um, we love. Funny enough, I actually haven't shown you guys this third room yet where I store all of my in-stock yarns like from different brands as well as my hand tying stuff. This is just the Noro selection. We still have a little bit of Omitama left. During my last kind of dye session that I had, I decided to dye up some stuff for myself. I'll just show you some of them because I did dye quite a few, um, but I thought, you know, might as well do it. I don't think I'm gonna be dyeing um, relatively soon. I, want, I wanted to get some like summery yarns for me to try out. These are just some linen silks that I dyed up in like, this one's a little bit more blue, this one's more gray black. This is bamboo. It's 100% bamboo. I just thought it was the most prettiest. Look at that blue. Oh, it's so pretty. I don't know. I just I immediately got like this really light color and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna keep it this light. We dyed up some, wow, you can really see it in the camera. Uh, in person, it's a little bit less vibrant, <laughs> I would say, uh, but this is my merino cotton. It's 50% merino, 50% cotton, and I want to knit something up with it because I haven't. Just thought, these would be nice to try and knit something up for me. Maybe in the future we'll just like dye up a bunch of um, tonals. You know, we can have them like in the shop kind of thing. I may have just moved everything to another corner of the room, but alas.
couple things have happened. I went to a hockey game, which is really fun. We won, so just have a couple clips of me and my boyfriend going, and it was just really nice because he just bought a jersey and he's never worn it to a game, so I don't know. I just thought he was really funny. <laughs> I also signed up for Class Pass. Me and my friends um, were thinking about joining it for kind of like the spring break when everyone had time to do the free trial. I've been to one class, I went to hot yoga, and it was really nice. And I found like the most perfect thing ever. I'm like so excited to use it. I'm sorry, but look at her. Look at how gorgeous she is. It's perfect for like my wrists and my knees. Just cause like, like look at how thick it is. So I'm excited to kind of do that more. Uh, we signed up for a couple other classes but I'm too embarrassed to like film it or anything. So a laugh. I have also finished, this is, I don't know what we're gonna call it. I don't have a name. We don't have a name for her, but I like it. I was obsessed with this borderline. I just think it's like so beautiful. Planning on making a matching skirt with it. I think I have enough yarn. Three, like more than 100 grams. So I'm thinking at least a mini skirt. Just working on another thing from the hair, the yellow hair series. So this is just what it looks like. One strand of my Superwash um, Merino Classic Sock base. Uh, mixed with this random like color mart yarn that I have that's really soft. I'm pretty sure it was cobweb because I had to Wind like I think I did four ply and it's just so soft and so nice. I'm hoping to do kind of like a Bow and I'm hoping it'll be enough So I just need a little bit more and just have it as something you can tie either at the back of your head um, Or I also want this where you can like braid it within your hair. And I just wanted to show you guys, this isn't yarn, okay? So don't worry. Um, I ordered some thrifted clothes and I just thought to show you guys. Ah, ah, okay, so these are the items I got. It was so kind of like last minute. I guess I'll also show you the other things I got from the store. So this store is called Wild Honey Goods. It's this like hidden away gem place that's in Lonsdale I, and I don't know I just really gravitated towards it once I found it they're doing like a bundle set um, where you can get I think five pieces for a hundred dollars but they actually refunded me one piece because there was a button missing first time I went in person it's like really cute but I bought this dress I don't know if you could see it, it just looks like this it's really basic it's like really long too this is the pattern. I don't know, I just thought it was so pretty and it's so light. It's like a rayon or something, but it was 50% off, so I only got it for $14. And I don't know, I just feel like this with like a bun would be really cute. So this is just the length of it. Ignore the socks, but I love how long it is. I love how like easy and flowy and just perfect it is for the summer. Yeah, I just felt it looked nice with my black hair and I don't care if I look like a granny in it, I think I look adorable. And then I fell in love with this dress. Um, my friend told me not to get it the first time I went in, but then I couldn't stop thinking about it. So I was like, okay, well, I've been thinking about it for like a week or two, so I might as well pick it up. But it's just this, oh, you can't see it. It's like this really long, it's like super long, maxi denim kind of t-shirt-esque dress. I don't know, I loved it with the tie in the back so it kind of has a more cinched in look i don't know i just thought it was so beautiful this is how long it is i love the like slits here and then you can't button it all the way so there's slits at the bottom here as well and it just reminded me of like phoebe buffet from friends and just that like whole look i don't know i feel like with my long hair it just it would be a perfect piece that I could wear in the spring and just feel really good. I don't know, I'm not loving like super short like shorts or like super short skirts, except for the knit one I'm going to make. But um, yeah, I don't know, I, j I appreciate a maxi kind of outfit. I'm really excited to wear it out because it's so beautiful. So I don't know if these fit, so I'll, hopefully I'll put a try on here <laughs> or something to show you guys. I pray. This is... <gasps> oh! And I have this, oh, oh my god, it's the perfect, it's the perfect length. Okay, so this is just it, the most beautiful denim long skirt. I've been looking for one ever since like they started getting kind of trendy. It is authentic American brand Paris Blues Original. <laughs> Never heard of this in my life. I really, I don't love the huge slits that they'll have 
in here so i really appreciate that it's very small and very dainty I've, i'm really gravitated toward dark denim okay it's not that dark oh my god she fits perfectly stop can you see it guys <laughs> i don't know my legs can't reach further than this but this is kind of everything i've ever wanted i am never usually this successful with thrifting online continuing on the denim look i got these they just look pretty basic, but they're kind of short. On the website, it said that they were hemmed. I'm thinking I might want to make these into like long shorts. So kind of like either to the knee. I just don't have a really, really nice kind of denim long short. Like I used to have so many ones that were like really, really short and I just don't wear them anywhere. I got rid of them. <laughs> so my summer wardrobe has kind of been like, been trying to recuperate it um, slowly over time. She's getting cropped but not the right amount of craft. I'm thinking like here, or maybe like right here. She fits in, I really like, I don't know, I, like, I really like the shade. I like the shade of blue that this is. Next piece, which I guess is another dress. Oh, this is fancy. Okay, there's a there was a theme here and the theme was red. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. I just think red is so beautiful, so this, Again, long maxi skirt dress. I did not, like, I, I just got that black one, so I really did not need this one. But it was so cheap, I don't know. Like, it has, like, beautiful sparkly details to it. It's Roni Nicole. I don't know, I just felt like I could wear this and be really cute, really stretchy, and really, just, like, look really put together, but comfortable. I don't love how this feels, like, feeling it like this, but I know it would look really great on me, and I was obsessed with the color. This is my first try on of this dress. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god, I look stunning in red. Dude, literally, not gonna lie, she's so itchy here. Like, she's literally the most itchiest thing I've ever felt on my body. But, oh my god, I love... So the other dress was more straight. This really does cinch in. And it's so long. I feel like I could wear this to a wedding. Like, look at that sparkle. My guys. God, it's so like comfortable I feel like i'm like in a pageant so beautiful i don't know i feel like the fit on it is like really perfect for my body okay crazy i don't know why they were putting this in the 20 bucks section but this is a danier skirt which is like a leather skirt i got this leather skirt for 20 dollars again danier i have a bunch of like leather danier stuff or danier I always say Danny, uh, but I have a bunch of leather stuff. Like I have a leather jacket or two. I have a leather skirt, which is too small for me, but I can't get myself to throw it away. But I just thought this red was so cool and it's like a nice pop of color. I feel like, I don't know if I'll hem it cause it looks a little long. Kind of no harm, no foul. Cause again, it's like this beautiful leather. I love the color of it. I don't know how I would hem it though. Like would we really want it hemmed like this short? but that feels like that's the amount I'd have to go. I'm not wearing the right shirt. Maybe if I was wearing like a crop shirt, but dude, it's a leather skirt. Are you kidding me? This one was quite a um, bold choice, but I don't know. I, I think it's so cool. Like the red and the brown, again, she was 20 bucks, but then they refunded me because there's no snap apparently. There's no snap right here. So that's like not even a big deal for me. Whenever I go thrifting, whenever I see a London Fog anything, I pick it up just cause it's always really nice. Buy all my trench coats from there. I just thought to pick this one up and I think it's like hella cool. These be beautiful. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know when I would ever wear this, but I feel like it's so cool. It's such a fun color. Um, and I think I could I'm not gonna like pull it off. This is like super flowy and fun. Okay, that's the end of the haul, but I did just receive something in the mail. Ah! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Okay, yeah. So look at this. I just got Fast and Fabulous Knits by Jamie Creates. If you guys don't know her, she's a other knit influencer, I guess, here on this space. And, and yeah, I've chatted with her a few times and she kindly uh, sent me this book. It comes out April 1st. So if you guys want to go check it out, it's so fun seeing different creators on like the platforms that I on, um, being able to publish their own books. And it's just really inspirational and it's just something like 
I definitely strive to be. So I'm going to quickly read over it and give you kind of my little review of the book. It's honestly so cute. I feel like if you're a fan of bigger knits and just would love to try some really fun details, I really appreciate like the writing. Honestly, it's so thorough. The patterns are really cool. I also like how they're divided. Similar to the Summer Lees one where it's divided between cabled, lace, colorful, and just like fun knit and pearls. It has a whole sizing chart to make sure that you're knitting the correct size for you. And it even shows like the measurements that you have to look at. It comes with a great size range. And like, I really love the different styles yeah, she does a lot of crop stuff but honestly I'd probably knit them like a little bit longer but she has this most beautiful fisherman's rib I'm like into her cardigans oh I loved this one her lace patterns are so beautiful I just feel like it makes me want to try more lace like ambitious with my stuff I loved this one I just thought the lace on the sides were so beautiful and it's a mohair so the one thing I was a little sad about was that the book came like a little dented and the pages are are quite thin so it's kind of dented everywhere and there's like a little bend on the back side of this book but I literally like cannot believe she wrote this it's actually insane at the back she gives you pictures I appreciate um, all the explanations and like how to do certain techniques. Yeah, oh my god, so stunning, so professional, so cool. Literally, the name is so accurate, like fast and fabulous knits. Like they're so like extra in the best way and I feel like you can knit them so fast. Like she uses like eight millimeters and larger for everything, like 15 millimeters. Like your girl needs to, your girl needs to start doing that because they look so cool definitely go check this one out so i finished this guy oh my gosh i blocked it i was kind of worried i didn't want to make it too long because i wanted to make sure i had enough yarn for the skirt like if i want the skirt to be longer or shorter and if i find that this is just a little bit too short i'll just add in more but yeah i think the blocking just made the neckline so gorgeous and i will try it on and show you guys so this is just currently what it looks like. I wanted it to be less of a slip over, more like a shirt kind of thing. So I don't know, maybe we'll keep it cropped and then the skirt will go here. I don't know. I'm kind of loving the midriff look. So yeah, this is just, how cute is that collar? I just feel like with the typical series, I'm just trying to get out all my typical staples out and just have them and just know that I can wear this forever. And I love that. For me. <laughs> I don't know, is it nice? I can't. Okay, I might be doing like literally the craziest thing I've ever done in my entire life, but hear me out, okay? Hear me out. So, in the last video, I think I talked about wanting to frog some pieces. Sunday tea. If you can see, I have picked up all the stitches along right underneath the yoke for where the arms and the body are separated into because I like the look of it. I love, I loved this work that I did and we don't want it to be unappreciated because I would love to wear this and it's so beautiful. I just don't like the yoke. So I think I'm going <laughs> to do the impossible. I've picked up stitches and I'm going to cut. I've already cut, okay, we've cut. So I've cut right here and I am just, <laughs> I am going to undo it so all there will be live stitches and then work bottom up the raglan so I want to do kind of like a thick raglan band right along there and I think it'll be something I'll wear and love so pray with me I'm gonna zoom in and show you yes this is what I'm doing okay see that can you see that oh my gosh So these stitches will still be live and then I can knit upwards and then I will just unravel all the rest of the top. I know we're sad, but I'm so excited. So I think it's all going to be worth it in the end. Okay, so I started knitting it and it looks okay so far. I'd love to write a pattern top down. <laughs> Unfortunately, of course I couldn't do it, but I think this is better than 
me unraveling the whole thing. I'm lazy though and I don't want to... I know people, they um, will wash this again so it's not all curly, but... <laughs> I don't really care. We'll just let it be. That is the end of today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, or push the notification bell if you want to be notified when I post next. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.